One classification of matter is pure substances. Pure substances have a fixed composition and fixed properties. I've put the word pure in parentheses here because the pure is optional. We could just say substances have a fixed composition and fixed properties. Pure substances or substances, those terms are synonyms in chemistry. Substances have a single chemical formula. Elements are examples of substances. Iron has a certain formula. Nitrogen has a certain formula. Sulfur, uranium, they have formulas. They consist only of one type of atom. Their composition is fixed and their properties are unvarying. Compounds are also substances. Water, table salt, potassium nitrate, you can see that each one of those has a single chemical formula. So if something is a substance, then it's either an element or it's a compound. If something is not a substance, then it's a mixture. A mixture contains two or more substances that are mixed together. These have varying composition and varying properties because the substances that make up the mixture are not chemically bonded to each other. They're just in the same room but not holding hands. The substances are not chemically bonded to each other. They retain their individual properties. Here are some examples of mixture. Tea is a mixture. Uh, certainly tea contains the substance water, but it has many other things. And not all tea is the same. Even if I make two cups of green tea one could be more concentrated, the other one more dilute. They don't have the same composition, they don't have the same properties. And you can see in the lower left here, tea, orange juice, oceans, and air are mixtures. They are mixtures of substances. Just like we said that there are two types of substances. You might recall that if we have a substance, then it's either an element or a compound. If we have a mixture, then it's either a homogeneous mixture or, we'll talk about this on the next slide, a heterogeneous mixture. A homogeneous mixture, also called a solution, is one in which a given sample has the same composition and properties throughout. That is, it's evenly mixed at the particle level. You can't distinguish one particular substance in a homogeneous mixture. It all looks uniform. It all looks the same throughout. Salt water, Kool-Aid are examples of homogeneous mixtures. While normally we think of solutions as being liquidy things, there are also homogeneous mixtures of metals. We call these alloys. Here are a few examples. Bronze is a homogeneous mixture of copper and tin. Pewter is a homogeneous mixture of lead and tin. Brass is a homogeneous mixture of copper and zinc. Now, are all bronzes exactly the same? And the answer, of course, is no. That's why bronze is a mixture. We could have a sample of bronze that is 50% copper, 50% tin. We could have another sample of bronze that's 90% copper and 10% tin. But within a given sample, those copper and tin atoms are evenly mixed. That's what we mean by a homogeneous mixture. The other type of mixture is a heterogeneous mixture. Heterogeneous mixtures have different composition and properties in the same sample. They're unevenly mixed. If you can look at a mixture and if you can identify any part that looks different from any other part, that's a heterogeneous mixture. A toss salad is definitely a heterogeneous mixture. Not every fork full is exactly the same as every other fork full. Same with Raisin Bran. One specific type of heterogeneous mixture is a suspension. And a suspension is one that will settle over time. Paint is a suspension. If you've ever done painting, you know that you need to shake the can of spray paint up or you need to stir the can of paint before you apply it because it is a heterogeneous mixture that will settle over time.
if we make a little graphic here for classifying matter, we have a sample of matter. It's either a pure substance or it's a mixture of several substances. If the sample of matter is a pure substance, then it's either an element or it's a compound. If it's a mixture of substances, then either those substances are evenly mixed, in which case we call it a homogeneous mixture, or they're not evenly mixed, which we call a heterogeneous mixture.